minutes in to teaching Max how to use this little touch pad or whatever you want to call it. It is literally like a ball on the end of a stick. And this, by the way, is how they teach dolphins to jump out of the water. What do I mean by that? Well, like many dog trainers, they use food luring. Here's a food, and wherever the food goes, the dog goes, and you can teach sits, downs, and stands like I just demonstrated. Then you get them to target the hand, and wherever the hand goes, you can teach, wait for it, sits, downs, and stands also. Well, what if you get him to target this instead of your hand? You can extend your reach, and if you had a 10, 15, 20 foot version of this, you can now get a dolphin to potentially jump out of the water as long as they know that putting their nose on this brings the money. So let's let him know that putting his nose on this brings the money. How do you start that? Start, if he already knows to target this, then all we have to do is do something similar to that. And we're gonna cheat. We're gonna cheat, don't tell anybody. We're gonna put a little bit of hot dog juice on there and he goes, let his nose get the better of him. So here we go. Perfect. And our job is to be very quick with the mark. We're using the clicker to mark the behavior that we like. You'll notice as soon as I click, he knows to come to get payment. Ooh. Don't want him to necessarily fall off. Now I'm gonna to start to get it a little further away from my hand. Check it out. Ooh. A little trickier picture, right? It's what we call a bridge too far. He goes, I don't know what the hell you want from me. We'll wait for it to happen. There we go, we got lucky, we got lucky. Free shaping is a little bit of luck. Oh yeah, now he's getting the rhythm. Let's stay with it, I'll, I'll do one more and this time I'm gonna pay him a hot dog for that. Oh yeah, you can see he barely knows this game. Like I said, literally three minutes in. Make sure to check out our TikTok channel where we did the first three minutes on TikTok just for you. Now let's continue this game, let's see how far we can take it. So let's stretch it out a little more and see if we can't get him to maybe go to the floor for it. <laughs> maybe a Let's see what he does here, doesn't even see it. Oh yeah, you can see how we now can cheat him from a distance to maybe get his nose to touch it. The only way his nose is gonna to touch this one is to go into an SIT. I still want him to touch it. That's what I wanted. It's just a different picture for him. Let's try it again. Oh yeah, he didn't touch it, but it was close. It's close, this time I want him to actually put his nose on it. Let him see it, it's right here. Just going through his repertoire. See, he doesn't quite know the game. He doesn't know that I need his nose to touch this. That's what I want. Let's get another few of those. Oh yeah. Let's generalize it. Let's put it a little this way. Oh, I missed my click. My hand got tied up. Oh, <laughs> sorry buddy. I had hot dog juice and you name it. Couldn't get that click in. Gotta be ready for it. Oh yeah. You say, yeah, what's the application of this? Am I trying to teach him like a dolphin to flip out of the water? Not necessarily. Look, but if I wanted to cheat him to, to maybe get his front paws off the ground, I could use this tool. Oh, that was so close. But you can use this now as a targeting stick and I can get him to target, say the refrigerator door and put his nose on it and eventually teach him with a tool like this to flick light switches up and down to maybe put his nose or mouth on a refrigerator door and open it and get me a beer. I bet that's a lesson for another day, but let's go ahead and continue with this and see how far we can take it. Maybe I can get him to uh, spin in a circle, come into heel position using this little goofy target stick. We don't do it a lot, but it's just fun to get his mind kind of thinking and seeing different pictures and not doing the same old hand commands and voice commands. Look at that, he flew into that one. Still need him to commit to it, beautiful. All right, now, Let's see what else we can do. This is looking nice. Let's see if I can get him into a stand with this, with this item. He's already in a stand, but I still want him to touch it. That's what I want to see. You can see his little mind working, his tail's wagging, he's happy to be here. Just a fun game you can teach your dog in one short afternoon. Still want him to touch it. Oh yeah. All right, let's get him off of here. Free, come on, free. And let's see if we can generalize it in the grass. He's gonna be a little more distracted. He loves to work on the table. He gets paid there. I might use the, about to use this to get him to come off. Come on. Good job. Let's keep him here. Let's get a little bit away from the table so he's not inclined to jump up there. And let's see what other fun stuff we can do with our little targeting stick slash touch pad. There he goes for the table. Max, here. That's how charged up they get on certain items. Imagine if I can get his love for the table 
to transfer to the love of this little targeting stick here. Uh, let's see what we can do. Max, we're going to work here, Bubba. Good job. Let me see if I can get him to shoot over here for it. Perfect. Now I saw him, I could get his head to move a little bit. I'd like to get his whole body to, to follow this, this, this uh, targeting stick here. Oops, choking on some food, we'll give him a break. Want some water. Maybe a minute or two, he's just had some water and let's keep the, the fun going. Oh yeah. While we were uh, putting a new battery in the camera too, I got two reps in, that's all you missed. Oh, ho, 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 ho. now, not that I want you to teach your dog this, but I bet you I can get him to come off the ground for that. This is, again, how they teach dolphins to jump out of the water. We start with one inch above the water, and let's go uh, six inches above the water. Oh yeah, baby. And I'm, eventually you go a foot, two foot, 30 feet for the dolphin. <laughs> for him, we're just asking for a foot or two, but let's see how high we can get him to go. And I'm gonna start to switch over to some hot dogs, really make it worth his while when he jumps up for this. Oh yeah. Honestly, folks, it's as, it's as quick as that. Now, if you wanted to turn it into what would they call like a sit pretty, let's see if we can start to shape that now. He's gotta go up and hold it. He goes, oh man, that always gets me paid. What do I have to do to make that work? I'm kind of fast tracking it. I wouldn't, oh, that was it. You saw him hold it for just a one more second. That's what I'll take. Let's see if we can get that again. Ooh, thought about it, thought about it. Still need him to touch and commit to this. I'll go ahead and give him a little easy one. I'm going to ask him to go a little higher this time. Just playing with it. You know, you can have so much fun with it. But now imagine I can teach him that I will put this on an item such as a light switch and get him committed to it, committed to it, committed to it. Look at him. And then the next thing you know, I kind of fake putting it there. And he's like, well, the ball's not there, but I'm going to touch that light switch with my nose anyways. But let's continue the, the show and see how high we can get him going here. Not a great thing to teach a dog if you don't want them to jump on people, but for the sake of this video, we could have some fun with it. He's also getting a little full, it's a little hot out. You can see he's lost his mojo, but we can probably get a few more rips out of him. And notice we're not naming it. I'm not, I'm not naming it anything yet. It's not reliable enough to name. Oh, he's thinking about it. I'll take it. He didn't touch the ball, but he did the motion that I liked. He bit my finger by accident. Not mad at him. It happens. It's because he's in it to win it. He wants the good stuff. Sure, we'll do it from that position. So he's trying to cheat himself closer to the hot dogs. He goes, well, the hot dogs aren't up there, but he has to know. This time again, we'll cheat it. I'll put a little save the flavor on there. I'm going to cheat his nose up. Look at that. So we might have to go down the ladder, so to speak. Like we got to a point maxed out. And again, it's hot, he's tired, but you know, this is another lesson within a lesson. You gotta know when to put the dog up when the lesson's over. We try to stretch it out for you guys. Um, you know, take the dog as far as we can, but you gotta understand we were already training this dog for like 10 or 15 minutes on something completely different before we even brought him out uh, for this. So, you know, a little hot out, a little full black coat. I'd still like to, let's jackpot him on at least one more rep and then we'll call it done. So he needs a little distracted by Austin over there. Max, good. Sometimes they get a little frustrated too. They're like, man, it, this is a vending machine and the vending machine's broken. How many more dollars am I gonna put in the vending machine if it's not spitting out what I want? So I'm trying to give him that Snickers bar now. I just need him to engage with the vending machine. He's got some smell there. This is the, the fun of training dogs on camera. It's, it's always difficult. Max. You can see he's completely checked out, but again, I want to end on a high note. Let's get, give me one more rep, my friend. Give me one more rep. Can you do it? We'll make it an easy one. All right. Keep the momentum going. Give me one good one. Oh yeah. See, we just made the game a lot easier. He says, he says that was a little too hard of a game you were playing. Give me something easy. Just want his feet to come off the ground and then we will call this done. Oh yeah. You notice make it a little harder each time. I think we're ready. 
This will be his little jackpot. Just need him to come off the ground for this. Just trust that when I present this, it's in your best interest for your nose to touch it. He's thinking about it. Oh yeah, buddy. And we end on that note there. So take it for what it's worth. Have fun with it. You don't necessarily have to have this item. You can grab anything. Uh, put the tennis ball on the end of a stick. Whatever works for you. All right, folks. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next episode. All right, buddy. We are trying to get the thumbnail for this uh, YouTube at the end of our lesson. Look what he learned how to do. <laughs> All of a sudden, he's got his second win. He's in it to win it. Maybe we get one more. I want back feet off the ground. Show me what you're working with. Oh! <laughs> Good job, buddy.